Alright guys, Silver J here. Welcome back to Tradewinds Legends. Uh, I'm starting basically right where I left off um, in the last episode, which I got done with like five minutes ago. Alright, so let's do the first rule. And uh, this rewards us with a map, which basically uh, gives us a new city to go to. Um, which, that'll be awesome. We can go somewhere new and, and get the new information. Alright. Ah, good. You're here. I have an errand for- Oh my! You know the secret handshake? I would never have guessed you were one of us. I don't know which one of us is, but okay. Huh? Secret handshake? Uh, to be honest, I just have a little twitch in that hand. What's this about one of us? I've said too much. I know I have no choice but to have you killed. Unless... Would you like to join our little club? You have to prove yourself, of course. Take this note to the Haji of Ramat if you'd like to apply for membership. Or, if you prefer, my guard here just had just sharpened his sword. That's a lovely note you have there. I'll just take that to the Haji in Ramat. Must be going. Cheerio. Alright. Um, I might as well go ahead and get this. Bam. Uh, and let's get... Um, Eight cannons for it. That way it can be kind of our uh, our powerhouse. It has a lot more strength than these do, so... Um, yeah. Okay. So we have to go to Ramat to join this little club. Um, and what's really cool is you can see on the map, well, while my ship is blinking, that the, it's whatever the most powerful ship you have, um, whatever stage you have, that's one, the one that shows up on the map, so it's pretty cool. Let's head to ba Ramat, right? Yeah, Ramat. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Deliver the note. Oh, I'm sorry, you're not on the Sultan's list of who's who in the Near East. Deliver the note. What's this? This is the seal of the Sultan's of... Oh my, I've said too much. What is everybody <laughs> saying too much? Sorry, but I must have you killed now. Gods! <laughs> Wait! I'm applying for a membership. Ah, the Haji of Aqua has sent us a new pledge. Well, that's different then. If you wish to join the Order, order of the Sultans of Su Wing, you must prove yourself. Your first task is one of valor. The local waters are rife with brigands. The world will handily mourn the loss of two. Return to me when you have defeated a couple of these rascals, and we shall speak further. Sink to brigand ship. Check. Okay. So basically, we have to defeat two enemies around our lot. So basically, what you always do is just go to a town, kill the people. Which technically, this is two ships. He said two ships, but they really mean two groups of ships. And then, just like that, you go back. And well, bam! <laughs> that's, that's the easiest way I've found of doing it. All right, kill these two ships. And yeah, we're rolling through them now. Sweet. All right, let's go ahead and repair the fleet. I'm not gonna buy this simply because, uh, yeah, I might as well. It'll only have one cannon for a while, but yeah, it'd be fine. I took those cooks down. Well done. I shall now teach you the basics of Su Wing. The first rule of the Sultans of Su Wing is you do not talk about the Sultans of Su Wing. Oh, so the rule, first rule of Fight Club is don't talk about Fight Club. Got it. If I say yes, does that constitute talking about it? I, it, huh? I will have to consult the rule book. Anyway, you've earned your first pledge amulet. Wear it, and our members will know you have begun your initiation. I believe you will find it has certain magical powers as well. Someday in the not-too-distant future, you will be contacted and offered your second pledge mission. And here is the map to shang Lo from the Secret Order Archives. Mum's the word. Also, your assistance is requested in the Palace of Babylon. I'm there. Okay, so now we have access to the Prince in Babylon, and we can do missions for him. But first, let's go Sheng Lo. I think that's how you say it. Xiang Lo. I, these names are just, I don't know, they're kind of different 
and hard to pronounce for a, a simple American such as myself. Anyway, Aqua. I really like the name of Aqua though. It's it's pretty awesome. All right, with brothers like that, must I do everything around here? Chew my own food? Oh, hello. Can you help me with something? No, no, it doesn't involve chewing. Yeah, I'm not gonna chew your food for you, bro. That's just ridiculous. All right. You were supposed to dispose of the silent Bob fellow for me. Clearly you haven't since he came back not a week ago and prophesied that I would die by poison wine. That's right, now my advisors won't let me drink. I hate that guy. How about you check in with the Shyok? Oh my god. Shake of Ramat? I don't know. The guy in Ramat and see if there is any news on this irksome little flea in my turban. I foresee a long and dangerous journey. Expensive too. Fine, fine, I get the point. Here's another 5,000 denarii for you. No? You doubt that we'll cover the expenses? Well, Bob does seem to leave a trail of battle and mayhem in his wake. Fine, we'll make it 10,000, just this once. Thank you, sire. I assume you, I will not fritter it away in the taverns. Not all of it, anyways. I won't fritter any of it away in the taverns. I am gonna buy tea, though, because it is cheap. Alright, let's go to Ramat. See what's cooking. Bob a dog. I like the fog too. I don't think it actually makes your people miss more, but it's pretty cool. Alright, let's heal up. Can't can't afford that chip. Um I seek the prophet Bob. Fortune teller is still alive, Captain. How do I know? A favorite subject of mine, Morgiana, has been hiding from her enemy, the King of Thieves, in Sabralage. Silent Bob apparently thinks she needs to be protected. He's commandeering a ship and has been attacking anyone to try and enter the port. The prince is a little upset since no trade is getting through, and now everyone knows where Morgiana is hiding. How about you just go blow him out of the water? Oh, with pleasure. It will be an honor and a privilege, not to mention very, very satisfying. It will. It will. It will. Oh, yeah. Let's sell this tea. Boom. Sea dog. Uh, okay. Anyway. I forgot to grab my phone before I started recording again. Darn it. Gosh darn it all. Yep. I think I've been going for about ten minutes. Anyway. Enter the Sabalage. So this is a real cool aspect of this game. You see how it's got this uh, like twin cobra symbol on the uh, on the city here. Basically means this is a hostile port, and when you go there, you're gonna have to basically destroy everything to get in. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get it done. Ta-da! Nandi, you're the king of thieves. Silent Bob said you'd be, I don't know, taller. No matter, fiend. I am the brave Captain Nandi, and you shall not harm fair Morgiana while I stand watch over this port. Fire at will! Captain Nandi? What? Who? Not again. Alright. So, um, this is, there's always ships, and then you see these, uh, these are basically like fortresses. And this one's pretty tough, actually. It's pretty fat. It's got a lot of health. And, uh, but I think we can do it. Let's fire. Kill it all. I'll watch this one. Let's see, I haven't seen it before. And boom. So, we get money and we always get an item. This one we got a large sapphire, which you can sell at the magic shop. I'm officially done with this being a hero thing. Can I borrow some driftwood? Captain, I believe we should both have a word with a certain fortune teller. If I can find him, that is. Um, sure, why not? Add a couple cannons. Maybe one more. I should have done the other one. Oh well. I'm here to help. Thank the heavens you got rid of that fool Nandi. Some idiot of a fortune teller convinced him that he should patrol the waters here to protect the, his precious Morgiana from the King of Thieves. Ha! With a big brother like her, I don't know how. I don't know what use she has for Nandi. I think we know which fortune teller it was. Big brother? Yes, he evaded Nandi's ship a few days ago and sailed in to pick her up. Silent Bob led the boy right to his sister and left with him. 
funny. They sure didn't look like brother and sister. But her screams as he handled her aboard were surely of happiness. You are an idiot. And that tip too on her brother's back that read, I am the king of thieves, was certainly a merry jest. I heard they were selling for Shang Lo. You should have business with them. Wow. And while you're at it, do you have any wild geese you'd like me to find for you? Oh my. So basically she was captured by the th king of thieves. And we have to go and, uh, and save her in Shang Lo. Let's go. Hmm. Was it Shabra Lodge? No? Oh, I gotta look for signs. I want to deposit 630 gold. That way I can get a bankroll going. Um, did you hear? Oh, sorry about that. All right. Right here. Ah, you. Welcome to my new town, Captain. The King of Thieves is in charge now. Since you did me a little favor back there by plugging Nandi, I'll let you live. What business is it you have here? How about you hand over that fortune teller and we call it even? You mean Silent Bob? Curse his name. After I seized this port, he came, he lit a candle to go below decks and escort Morgiana to her cell. Next thing I know, he's setting the candle on a crate of gunpowder. Boom! Goodbye, fleet. No trace left of him or the girl. Still, the old soothsayer in, his ta in this town insists that he lives. If you wish to know more, consult the weird guy in the magic shop. Oh, that's a mean name for him. This guy has more lives than a cat. Alright. Please tell me Bob is dead. Of course Bob's not dead. I should know, he's my brother. He snuck back here after the explosion to give me his most precious position for safekeeping. He said he might have to disappear for a while, but I could be convinced to trade it. Got anything interesting? Oh, uh, great. How about this <laughs> incredibly valuable and certainly in no way cursed monkey's sapphire? Sold, sucker. I get a beautiful gem and you get my brother's stupid unfinished manuscript. He thinks he can sell it to Kalath Harum. Get this. It was a dark and stormy night. Plus, it's cursed. Brigands are going to be on you like Mandy Patel on a baked ham. I can't believe you just traded this jewel for... Hey, is it just me or did that storm cloud appear out of nowhere? <laughs> Tis an all wind that does not blow some good. Hope you're adept at finding silver linings. Alright, anyway. So, let's head back to Agua for our next assignment. Um... Uh, this is 10,000 denari, the diamond knife. Oh, it's you. I have no need of your services today. But wait, my good friend Esmeralda, the stone merchant, said something about wanting to speak to you. You can find her in the local temple. Right away, Haji Pekak. Really? I, I, I'm not a good try. Uh, the temple, the temple. Are you stone? Literally, she's stone. About time you came, Pavan. I need your help in obtaining a mythical diamond knife. Blade is fabled for the unparalleled keenness of its edge. Legend claims it never needs to be sharpened. I must have it. I would be more than willing to pay you 10,000 denarii. Why not? Tell me where I can find it and I'll head there directly. How come you want it so badly? Head to Ramat. The shipping guard is. The ship right there is guarding the diamond knife. Unfortunately, Ramat is kind of a cold troll of somebody else. You'll need to liberate the city in order to obtain the blade. And as for my reasons, they are none of your concern, nosy flesh human. Free Ramat. Okay. First, oops. Buy all the salt. Wow, that was a lot of salt. I didn't think it would broke me. Anyway, Ramat. Oh, it's we gotta we gotta take it. We gotta take it. But I think we can do it. But all iron tongue. You will not be taking this port from me. I have plans to turn Ramat into a tacky tourist trap and make millions gouging vacationers. Bwah ha ha. You have to find somewhere else to build your shoddy timeshares, you scoundrel. Prepare for battle. <laughs> I like the the little funny jokes they have in this game. It's really awesome. Okay, two ships in the fort. Let's take it. Almost, and we're done. What did we get? A diamond. 
no condos my precious condos listen if you spare my life i'll explain how you too can afford to spend a week every monsoon season here in sunny ramat really how much does it no take your high pressure sales pitch elsewhere scurvy dog sweet so that, see a fancy knife around Ah, oh, yes. Esmeralda said you would come to collect the diamond knife. Please take it along with our profound gratitude for freeing us from the madman, Iron Tongue. No problem, but in the future, run a background check before you grant piratey looking people zoning permits. Um, I do need to sell some things. So, self portrait. Find a collector fast. Sell. Pledge amulet. Still, the bank will give you an extra 1% increase, so that's awesome. Uh, we're going to sell the large sapphire because it's a good amount. And then uh, the diamond. Bam. Now we are like rich right now. So let's buy this awesome ship and buy 15 cannons. I doubt we can get 15, but oh, we can. Just enough to get 15. Sweet. So now we have this awesome, awesome weapon. 839. Deposit. I try to keep depositing. Pulled up my bank account, so. Alright, so we're going to go to Aqua's Temple. Hopefully we don't get bombarded along the way. Nope. Sweet. Uh, temple. temple. I present the Diamond Knife. Bless you, Pavan Paratosh. Here are the 10,000 denarii I promised you. Thanks for the cash. Now, I know I'm only a flesh human, even though I'm clearly not. As you so politely put it, but do you think you can answer my question? What do you so urgently need a Diamond Knife for? To be honest, you have no idea how frustrating it is for a stone woman to try and shave her legs. I go through five or six razors in a given week. Do you know how expensive that gets? Now, with the fabled diamond blade, my t toiletry will be a breeze. Um, enjoy then, Esmeralda. Give me a shout if you need someone to pick you up. Some fabled diamond shaving lotion. Uh, wonderful. Alright, let's do... What time is it? 20 minutes ish. Um, let's go ahead and do a couple more. Ah, yes, it's good to see you, Captain. See, now he's just getting friendlier and friendlier. The quicker liquor picker. Oh my. I guess we're going after more liquor. Ah, Captain Paratosh, one of my guests has wagered with me that he has a bottle of wine surpassing anything in the Ten Kingdoms. Yeah, Ten Kingdoms. If you. If I can find a better vintage. I win the privilege of lopping off his miserable head. However, if my offering falls short, he gets to ransack my treasury. Go to the bazaar and procure for me the best wine money can buy. Here is a pouch of gold to cover the cost and your time. Alright. I'm looking for fine wine. Ooh, and I'm selling my salt first. Sorry. <laughs> I can sell you a bottle of our finest wine, certainly. Suitable for pickling onions and disinfecting wounds. If you want something drinkable, though, I recommend going to Sabalash. The grapes grown there are the best in the world, far superior to the winzed raisins we grow on these rocky shores. I suppose I must go to Sabalash, then. Let me just have one of those XXX jugs for the road. The first mate says he has a new pirate battle drinking game. Take a drink for every cannon shot you land, or the enemy's lands. Um, guess I could buy some tea for the road. And break myself. Buy the finest wine at Shabraj! Even though they're like, sandy. I don't know how they're growing this amazing, these amazing grapes, but uh, Okay, I'm looking for fine grapes. You want grapes? You bet we got grapes. We got more grapes than you can shake a stick at. Most delicious grapes in the Ten Kingdom. Sweet, juicy, make your taste buds sing and dance. Perfect. Let me have a bottle of your best wine then. Oh, wine we don't got. Only grapes. We send them to the wineries in Alcazem for pressing. All master winemakers live in Alcazem, don't you know? My patience is rapidly going to vinegar. Why didn't Ababwa tell me that? Fine, I'll sell to Alcazem. And I can't sell my tea because it's the same frickin' price here. Anyway. Oh, we were almost there. That's okay. They only got two ships. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we can get this pretty easily. Alright. Boom. I uh, might as well. 
Why not? There we go. Just cause. Uh, Alright. I need... Oh. Uh, I guess I'll sell. Might as well. Bam. Now I'm rich again. My house. Trey Ben. Mo Capitane. It is the truth. That Alcazum is home to the best wineries in the known world. Would le Capitan cut to sample a Cabernet Sauvignon that is simply fantastic? Um, yeah, great. Tastes like fermented grapes. Alright, so give me your best bottle. I'm in a hurry here. Ha 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 The Captain is how you say kidding? Le vin must be allowed to mellow in order to reach the peak of perfection. We send all of our barrels to Ramat for aging in the very best wine cellars. You know this injury street could really use some streamlining before I run off to Ramat. Tell me, am I going to be able to buy wine there? Or will they send me somewhere else for the finest corks or labels or something? Ah, très amusement, mon capitaine. That would be most ridiculous. He's very French, so I try to do my best French impersonation. Alright, let's go to Ramat. So we can finally get this stupid wine. Ding, ding, ding. Opera Dobbs Wine Emporium. You better have a bottle of wine to sell me, or from now on you'll be drinking yours through a tube in your arm. Easy, Captain Pavan Paradise. You can buy all the wine you want here. What vintage were you looking for? Uh, something made of Savarlaz grapes from a winery in Alcazim and cellared here in Ramah. And it better be best in the Ten Kingdoms. Very good, Captain. Now, did you want a red or a white? We have a lovely 32 Bordeaux and a read my lips. Give me wine now. Uh, an excellent choice. And may I say that a fine keen edge you have on your scimitar. This 150 year old Sauvignon Blanc is considered by connoisseurs to be the best wine ever pressed. A steal at 15,000 denarii. We'll write it up as a debt. 15,000? A haji only gave me 10,000, that cheap twerp. Alright, I'll take it and carve the difference out of this hide. Um, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and of course there's not one here. Anyway, we'll buy some salt. Boom, I'm full of salt. Alright, let's go to Aqua. <laughs> His bleep 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 wine. Your wine, sir. This cost me an arm and a leg. See that you reward me well so it doesn't cost you one of yours. Pavan, Pavan, always such a kidder. Come, let's have the wine. Oh heavens, that's divine. Baron, do you concede defeat? Delicious bouquet. Hints of blackberry with floral overtones. A most exquisite att attempt, Haji Pinak Gambert. But you haven't met my secret weapon. Behold, Dom Perignon. Oh, the bubbles, they tickle. Curses, you've won this round, Baron. Good effort, Pavan Paratash. I'm afraid that I can't spare anything for your troubles. The Baron's men are already plundering my treasury. I'll plunder you, you lousy. Please, please, release the good Haji, Pavan. The one you brought. It was like it was like a bazaar in my mouth, and everyone was invited. I'm more than happy to give you this ruby for your services as a sommelier. Which uh, we can sell for 30000 Looky there. We made money. Now, money lender, money lender, money lender, money lender, money lender. Repay my debt. Always. And buy another ship. Is that another cannon? Uh, bank. I'm gonna go ahead and deposit 228. And... Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Because I'm not working on any tasks. It's a good stopping point. Back in Aqua. Um, when we come back, we'll keep doing uh, missions for the Sultan. We'll do uh, SC6. We're up to 20,000 denarii. And, uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So I hope you all enjoyed this uh, episode. And I hope you stick around for the remainder of this uh, little Let's Play. It shouldn't take me too terribly long, but uh, reading, uh, reading the dialogue kind of takes the most time. But anyway, I hope you all have a lovely day. Take care.